Hello, we. Experiencing a bit of technical difficulties, what I wanted to do today was to begin the progressive lead guitar lessons based on the writings or the lessons in this tone here. However, uh, you can see there's a, the first lesson is, well, I can tell you, it's basic uh, blues uh, progression. What do they call it here? 12 bar blues progression. You should become familiar with this pattern. And so I was going to record a backing track so that I could do, demonstrate the blues progression that they want, which is, it goes like this. It goes. And then, and then finally, uh, Something like that. But uh, I wanted to create a backing track. These are the blues. You know, I got the 12 bar blues, baby. Got them 12 bar blues. But when I went to plug in my Samson microphone, this bad boy right here, trusty bad boy, it wasn't connecting. The light was coming on through the USB connector here. And I tried it on both of my MacBook type things. Neither of them were showing. I even reset the PRAM on the uh, little airbook, which is right here, right now, and uh, nothing. And uh, so I spent, you know, probably more than an hour trying to resolve that. Unplugging, plugging, replugging, resetting the PRAM, rebooting the computers and stuff like that. But on my main machine, this bad boy right here, um, I don't want to, there's a problem with it in that it takes 40 minutes to reboot for some reason. It's an old machine. And uh, somewhere along the way I installed some bug. I'm going to blame it on the uh, Opera browser or the, what was the other one called? The one with the lion? What's it called? Well, anyway, you see what I mean. Brave. Yeah, I'm going to blame it on Brave. So I think it's full up of uh, extra executables and so forth that are uh, mucking up the system. So I didn't want to do that because it's already late. And so unplugging, unplugging, and I gave up basically. I was like, okay, F it. I'm just going to put that off until another time. And then I'm thinking, oh no, how am I going to record it? I'm thinking this is a sign from the universe that I should be concentrating my efforts in other directions because I've been uh, the inimitable uh, pure pollute <laughs> sound like that. Sandwich, green eggs and ham. And then for dinner, you smoke and pot roast. Cranberries from a can. So when it's time for the dessert, I'm a happy man. 
ain't got no time for family. I ain't got no time for love. I ain't got no time for nothing. All I do is run. Got no time for church on Sunday. I ain't got no time for God. I ain't got no time for no one. All I do is run. All I do is run. All I do is, all I do is, all I do is run in the springtime. That was spontaneous, so I was going to do this lesson making a backing track, and so now I guess I can do it, so I just figured, well, I'll just take requests today, so if anyone watching has a request, let me know. Standing on the corner Before you or behind you Never mind you Doesn't matter I'm wrapped up in my own affair You don't care, it's like air so when I when this was happening, I was like, you know, I was I was brainstorming. I was like, okay, so how now am I going to record? This seems to be the last straw. Then I thought of Jocko Willink. Are you familiar with Jocko Willink? And his motto is good. So whenever you encounter a problem, a pitfall, a stumbling block, a blockade, a wall, an obstacle, you just say, good. I've been saying good a lot lately. But today was kind of interesting, actually. I had a good day. I uh, had a uh, rendezvous at a uh, meeting at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. And so I left late. I left at 12.30. And I figured, I looked at the map, I think, oh, I can make that, I can make that in a half hour. And so I was planning on getting a Vélib, which is the uh, municipal public bikes that you can rent for a, for a time to, for short jaunts across town. And uh, there were none available. I ended up walking for 15 minutes before I could find one. And so that sort of put a cramp in my style. So I finally got one that worked and I hightailed it and made it on time to the essayage which is a costume fitting and rehearsal. We did a little rehearsal. So I met uh, a couple of the other actors, the costumier, the costume gal, wardrobe, I suppose it's called in English, and the director, of course. And we met in this little theater, really cool, but in so nondescript, it's, there's this big brutalist, you know, apartment block and uh, Paris, Lost and Found film. Hello. Bonjour. Paris Lost and Found. So I was the... C'est drôle parce que j'étais en train de raconter une histoire d'aujourd'hui d'un essayage et une répétition. Dans un petit théâtre uh, de Paul Le Maisonsen. Dans un grand bâtiment un grand, uh, c'est une uh, commune cité, en fait, à côté du uh, canal d'Orc. Et uh, donc, on rentrait, on était en bas, et puis tout à coup, il y avait des petits bureaux sur le uh, rez-de-chaussée, et il y avait une, uh, un, un petit théâtre, en fait. On, a, on avait fait notre répétition là-bas. And so that was fun, to meet everyone. The uh, guy, one of the guys, he's the star of the film. He's actually going to be performing in the Olympic uh, opening ceremony. <laughs> the gal had made a short film, the director. Uh, so the guy is actually, has been living in Los Angeles for a while. And so I had sort of a Los Angeles day. I follow this guy called Marcel, someone or another on uh, the Instagrams. And... Uh, he just chatted me up again yesterday, and he's in L.A. And then this morning, I got a LinkedIn uh, 
mail from another guy in LA who's gonna try to glow me up, I guess. Well, I'm, if, you, if you're familiar with that term. It's a marketing strategy for uh, social media and so forth like that. And I'm going to uh, Arte Cave 3000. Okay, hello. Hey, how are you guys doing? Do you have uh, any requests? RTK, where and what are you? And uh, so that was fun. We're going to be shooting this weekend. The shooting got postponed because for a change, it's going to rain this summer in Paris. And um, uh, what else was it? So, uh, oh, and then, so another good thing that happened is I got on the Vilib. And they're changing things around. I, I'm rather disappointed because once uh, I accidentally parked a, a Velib in, um, in a, uh, just a, I didn't realize it. I was uh, going to an art opening and I, I just parked it into this totally, the, the born, the uh, control panel for the bank of, uh, I'm trying, trying to figure out what, what to call it. It's where you park your bikes. These electronic devices that lock the wheels in when you're there. And it locked in, but uh, I, and I rushed away and I didn't realize that the, that the control panel was completely smashed and the back of the control panel was all torn out, ran, uh, vandalized. <clears throat> and so when I get home, I was walking back home and you get this notification on your phone saying, hey, you've been out on your bike for two hours now. I'm like, no, I'm not. So I walked all the way, back. anyway, that's a different story. And so today is the same thing. I got a notification, hey, you've been using your bike for more than two hours now, you know. I'm like, oh, this again. And so uh, I told him exactly where I picked it up and where I dropped it off. And I got the little notification, there's a little console on the handlebars of the bicycle and tells you when you've locked it correctly, it has a check mark. And uh, so that was all good, but then uh, I called him up and the lady said, okay, well, we'll forgive you exceptionally this one time. I'm like, come on. I did. So I'm a little bit disappointed that they're shifting the responsibility onto the customer because what they're doing is they're changing their whole system around, adding plenty and plenty more uh, bike stations for the uh, J.O., as I like to say, the jerk-off. The Jeux Olympiques, the Olympic Games. So that was another good thing. Another good thing is that I changed my internet service. And uh, I have a feeling that I'm, it's not going to take because I don't have any uh, m m um, mail, uh, other like a mail that comes to this address. So we're over 13 minutes and I just wanted to give you updates. So look forward to learning how to be a rock god along with me over uh, 30 lessons. Or no, is it 30? Yeah. So we'll all be rock gods. Uh, we'll all be ripping axe wielders in about six weeks. Looking forward to it. Good. <laughs>